Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nenin Zui. My name is Sila Tulabia. We are from SMA N1 Wanasalam. Well, we are here to explain our research and the title of this research is The Antioxidant Activity of the Fruit of Lampini or Ardisia elliptica. The reason for doing this research is because many people only consume lampini fruit. However, lampini fruit hasn't been maximally utilized because people don't know that lampini fruit is believed to contain antioxidants which can cause various kinds of disease caused by free radicals. Lampini is one of the flora in Indonesia. Lampini leaves are often used as a vegetable that consumed by the community as well as the fruit. But until now, there is an official research that proves the presence of antioxidant in lampini fruits. Therefore, the study will examine that antioxidant activity found in lampini fruit. Lampini fruits are single fruit that cluster at first dull green, then turn red when ripe, and then purple or black. Lampini habitat is in areas with warm temperature and moderate to high humidity. No wonder the lampini is often found in the cluster areas, for example in our area, namely the Wanasalam sub-district area. Research aims to test the antioxidant activity found in lampini fruit using phytochemical analysis. Well, the test carried out were alkaloids, tannins, and saponins. In the current pandemic situation, research using the DPPH method cannot be carried out. In addition, the lack of facilities in lab school is the main reason for not using the DPPH method in this study. As you know, phytochemical analysis can be used for qualitative testing of antioxidant activity. It has been mentioned earlier that this study aims to determine antioxidant activity using phytochemical analysis. While the tests carried out are alkaloids, tannins, and saponins, the result of the research showed the reaction is positive because there are these deposits is the drug drop and major regions. The tannin test showed negative result because there was no precipitate in the simple test. Saponin test showed negative result because no form after shaking the test pool. We didn't test for flavonoids because we didn't have the ingredients for the test in addition. The lab that we use does, doesn't contain chemicals for testing flavonoids. Carried out only the identification of the alkaloids that show positive results and others show negative results. This could to be absent of the extraction process on the Simplicia. We realize and acknowledge that the results of this research are optimal due to limited natural resources, ranging from very limited time, limited funds, inadequate facilities, and the pandemic that has not ended. Well, that's all our research. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.